unfolded and all these hours inside the hotel is still not fully clear. We've been trying to piece things together from accounts uh, given to us by survivors, vivid accounts, uh, first person ones, the first glimpses really into the two days and three nights of terror. First, uh, the story of how a mother and a daughter survived for 42 hours. It was so frightening just to be up in the hotel without TV or phones for 26 hours and not really knowing if we would get out. But uh, Kuldip from La Passage of India kept us informed. I would stand on the chair and we found each other. It took a few hours, but he saw me with my blue shirt on and his blue shirt. And I felt a connection, a, f a feeling of hope that, that, that he was so certain that the commandos would come. And they finally did, and, and they needed to take their time because they had to remove the bodies from the stairwell so that we wouldn't see them. I just keep touch with the energy guard. They told me not to worry. We have clear 11th floor. Then again I have called them, okay, don't come out. If anybody is knocking door, just keep quiet. They went from door to door, and there were about five of us, uh, and they took us down. Um, very carefully, and uh, we didn't see anything, uh, hear anything. Um, but we saw tremendous, we saw a lot of tremendous gore. We, gore. Saw, we saw the terrorist handiwork. Uh, and we didn't see the terrorists themselves, but we saw their handiwork. The blood everywhere, the blood. And when we came down to the lobby, all the hundreds and hundreds of police were just sitting shoe. there yeah. looking so fried and so sad, and the, the commandos watching over still everything and, and just. The, the hotel that was so magnificent and the, the, the beautiful the, lobby had water in it and you know when we were admiring it we were sitting on the swing near the pool and the pool had blood in it it was mind-boggling that one moment it was just serene and sensational and then it, the next it was all gone these things happen in, in this environment it's around the world it's not just India it's not just the United States there's crazy people out there and um, when they do bad things you mourn uh, but you don't let them win, and then you move on. That's all.